Okay, can you guys see that LED on there? The thing is on. Look at the voltage. It's 0.151 volts. And this is a experiment I got expired to do by Laser Saver's latest experiment where he is using a thermal electric generator. They call them Pelters or Feltes module. Um, and he's using it to make electricity. And um, that thing right there isn't supposed to be doing this. Uh, the one that he was using uh, worked at about 0.4 volts and um, was bipolar. This is a real cheapy uh, 0.9 volt to 5 volt voltage booster. And um, I've got a um, 2.7 volt, uh, I think it's uh, about 3 farad super cap that the energy from my little Felte module set up here. Uh, that's a hand warmer, USB hand warmer, uh, differentiated with ice. And that's what the little module's putting out right now. And that thing's on. And the meter is across the supercapacitor. The little chip, and I'll give uh, details in the description of that chip, shouldn't be doing this. It's supposed to be about a 0.8 or 0.9 volt. But I found out if you jump start that with a volt and a half, you just jump start it, and you get that running, it'll go way, way, way down in the um, realm. And that has me very, very, very interested. Um, that thing right there. And they're not very expensive, and it's supposed to bounce the voltage up at, at a 0.8 on up to 5 volts. It's supposed to be a 5 volt DC to DC um, voltage booster. But you can see what I'm, I'm producing here. And this is using one of these uh, thermoelectric modules. Uh, P-E-L-T-I-E-R, Felte, Pelter, Felte. Um, Anyway, you can get that online. There's the number. And I'm just differentiating that with some ice and then this um, hand warmer here. If I press on it, I can get it to go up. And it's putting some pressure on it here. And of course, as you do that, you increase the output voltage too, which makes the LED brighter. But that is something I have not seen before. I've never seen a voltage boosting circuit operate at that voltage and light an LED. So anyway, I'm pursuing on. I'll give a link to Laser Saber's experiment where he used a, um, a really nice module differentiated with uh, room temperature and then... Uh, the fluctuations up and down in the air temperature to drive through a voltage booster, storing the energy in a super cap, and then lighting an LED. And like I say, my, uh, oh, there it just went down to 110. It's still running. Let me bounce it back up again. I'll press on it here. But yeah, that, that, really has me interested in um, this again and I, I'm sure you could do this with a solar panel too that had enough amperage to run this setup but uh, that's the latest with this um, it's called energy harvesting and it's the uh, ability to take in this case a temperature differential of about 20 degrees or so, uh, his ran down, I think, to like uh, 15 or 16 um, degree differential, and then get a, um, a very efficient voltage booster to get voltage up high enough to a low amperage device. And he says he has a motor that will run off that too. I'm anxious to see that. So anyway, that's the latest thing I've been up to is this energy harvesting using a... Um, thermoelectric generator. Thanks for watching.